I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We have been sharing with you previous test papers on many different topics. Here is the one for IB students taking calculus. I am very thankful to my students for sharing these test papers with me for the benefit of most of the students all around the world who are taking up similar topics. So let's look into each and every question of this test paper. Now it has eight questions. You can pause the video, copy these questions. We'll look into their solutions. So at present, I think you can see clearly questions one to four, a part of question number five. Uh, you may take time to copy this. You can pause the video. Here are uh, the next uh, three questions. Five, six, seven, right? And uh, the last three questions for you to copy. Try these solutions and then I'll provide you uh, their solutions also. So let's begin with the very first question, which is uh, relatively straightforward. We just need to find derivatives of uh, logarithmic and exponential functions to begin with. Question number 1a is we are given that the function f of x is equal to 4 e to the power of minus x plus e x square minus e. So we need to find the derivative of this particular function which clearly is what? Derivative of e to the power of minus x is minus e to the power of minus x so you get minus 4 e to the power of minus x and here we get 2 times x e is a constant correct so so we get here plus 2 times x and then e minus e is a constant itself and therefore its derivative should be 0 so that becomes the result for the derivative now let's look into part b which is the function given to us is equal to 4 x cubed ln x to the power of 6. So to find the derivative of this function, oh, we'll have to use the combination of power and chain rule. So we do get 6 times all this, which is 4x cubed ln x to the power of 5 times derivative of inside function. Now, the inside function derivative we have to apply the product rule. Perfect. So, so the product rule will be applied. So we are doing it in uh, shortcuts. 12x is 12x squared is the derivative of the first part times ln x plus 4x cubed times derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x. Right. So you need not simplify this since it is very clearly written do not simplify. So you can also leave it at this particular stage, no harm. See, if you want you can simplify it a bit. Part C here is f of x is equal to ln square root of 3x plus 2 over x minus 4. So that is like power of half, correct? So the derivative of this function will be, you have to write down the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over whatever is given to you, right? Times the derivative of inside function. But, you know, whenever you have a function like this, it's a good idea to write first this as half of, this is like to the power of half, right? Ln was in brackets 3x plus 2 over x minus 4. Now half becomes a constant, right? And now we can write down its derivative and we, we could actually also go one more step and write this function as a simplified form, right? That is better. So what you see here is 
we could use logarithmic uh, derivations. Uh, so we could write this as half of ln 3x plus 2 minus ln x minus 4. Does it make sense to you? If you simplify like this and then write down the derivative, then uh, it is better for you. So for this type of equation, I will suggest do not rush, but rather simplify as we did here and then find the derivative. So what we get here is half of derivative of ln 3x over 2 is derivative of 3x plus 2 is 3. So we could write this as 3 over 3x plus 2 minus derivative of x minus 4 will be 1 over x minus 4. So that becomes the answer for the given question. So I hope that clearly uh, shows you all the steps involved. So question number one is a good review of uh, what you have learned about the rules of logarithms along with the rules of differentiation. Now let's move to question number two. Question number two here is determine slope of the tangent line of y equals 2 x to the power of 4 minus 2 whole cube square root of x plus 3 over 2x square minus 2x plus 1 to the power of 4 at x equals to 1. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So question number 2 has been copied here and let us see how to solve it. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, this should be done without calculator, okay? So the important part here is that uh, calculators are not permitted. Perfect. You can leave your answer in exact simplified form. Now, most of the IEB test papers, you have two papers, one with calculator, one without calculator. So this is uh, part one, without calculator. The question is, determine slope of the tangent line of y equals 2, x to the power of 4 minus 2, whole cube, square root of x plus 3, divided by 2x square minus 2x plus 1 to the power of 4, at x equals to 1. So first step should be, we should find the value of y at x equals to 1. So let's do that. So we are given y equals to x to the power of 4 minus 2, whole cube, square root of x plus 3, over 2x square minus 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. So at x equals to 1, we'll find what y is. So y will be equal to 1 minus 2 whole cube, square root of 1 plus 3, over 2 minus 2 plus 1 to the power of 4. So that gives you, so that is minus 1. And here we get square root of 4, which is 2. So we get minus 2 in the numerator. Denominator, 2 minus 2 is 0. 1 to the power of 4 is 1. So the y value is 2. So now we know that y is 2 for x equals to 1. Right? So we can write down here that y equals to minus 2. rather. Okay. Now let's find the slope of the tangent line. That means the first derivative. So the first derivative for this will be what? Uh, now, when you are given equation in this form, it is important to write this as a logarithmic function, right? So we'll take log both sides. So let's take natural log both sides. So we get ln y equals 2. So when I take natural log of this, what do I get? I get ln x to the power of 4 minus 2 whole cube. So we could write this as 3 here plus, right, because that is multiplication, that is to the power of half, we can write this as half ln x plus 3 minus, that is in the denominator, 4 is the exponent, right, so we get ln all this, which is 2x square minus 2x plus 1. Now we can differentiate with respect to x, right? So now let's differentiate with respect to x. So when you do that, you get uh, 1 over y dy dx equals 2. 
So here we get 3. Derivative of x to the power of 4 is 4x cubed over x to the power of 4 minus 2, right? Now here you get it plus half. Derivative will be 1 over x plus 3. See how simple it becomes when you use logarithmic differentiation. So we have 4 here and uh, derivative of all this will be 2x squared will give us 4x minus 2 over 2x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay. The derivative really becomes very simple when you use logarithmic differentiation. We can isolate dy dx. So we know now the slope will be dy dx and that could be written as y times all this. So let's rewrite. So we get 12 x cubed over x to the power of 4 minus 2 plus 1 over 2 times x plus 3 minus 4 times 4x minus 2 over 2x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now we need to find this derivative for x equals to 1. Now we have to find at x equals to 1 and then we found that y is minus 2. So let us substitute these values and then evaluate. So we get our answer which is uh, dy dx at the point which is 1 minus 2, correct? Substituting minus 2 here for y we get minus 2 and this becomes uh, we have uh, 12 x is 1 for us so so that becomes 12 over 1 minus 2 is minus uh, minus 1 and here we have plus 1 plus 3 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 and this is uh, 4 minus 2 is 2 2 times 4 is 8 and here 2 minus 2 is 0 so we get just 8 here right so so we get 12 uh, all this right so let's open the bracket now so that minus makes it 24 minus this is uh, 1 over 4 and that becomes plus 16 or add these two first 6 plus 4 is uh, 10 and then 22 plus 2 is 40 minus 1 fourth right so so which is equal to let's rewrite here 4 times 4 is 16 so 116 minus 1 over 4 or 159 over 4 correct so that becomes the slope of the tangent line which is going to be 159 over 4 so our answer here is slope is 159 over 4. Clear? So that is how we need to answer this particular question. I hope that helps. We need to find equation of a tangent line where the curve is given to us. So that is the uh, question number 3 which we are going to take up now. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So we are given the function which is y equals to x squared plus 3 to the power of x. We need to find the equation of tangent line to this curve at x equals to 1. Let us also find the value of this function at x equals to 1. So if I write x as 1, then uh, what do we get? So if I write x equals to 1, in that case, we get y equals to 1 plus 3 to the power of 1 which is 4 so we are talking about a point which is 1 4 clear so that is the point which we will be looking into and we need to find the equation of tangent line at this point to move further let's write this taking logarithms on both the sides so we can take logarithms ln y will be equals to uh, x ln x square plus 3 correct now it is easy to differentiate so let's differentiate with respect to x so we get 1 over y dy dx 
equals to product rule, right? So derivative of x will be 1. So we get ln x squared plus 3 plus derivative of this times x. So derivative will be derivative of inside function is 2x over x squared plus 3. Clear? So we took, uh, will differentiate with respect to x. Okay. Uh, we need to find the slope at uh, x equals to 1 and y equals to 4. So we can say dy dx at the point where x is 1 and y is 4. Right? That's what we are interested in. So, so we can just multiply this by first uh, let me write the expression and then we'll write down the slope. So we get y times ln x squared plus 3 plus 2x squared over x squared plus 3. Substituting this value, we get 4 times ln x is 1, so 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 over 1 plus 3 is 4. So that is 4 ln 4 plus 2. Okay, so we multiply by 4 both. So we get a slope at this point is 4, ln 4 plus 2. Now, to find the equation of the tangent line, we can use uh, y equals to mx plus b. We know the slope, so we'll use the equation y equals to mx plus b. Right? So, so the value of y is equals to slope, which is 4, ln 4 plus 2 times x plus b. To find the value of b, I'm going to substitute this value. So 4 for y and 1 for x. So we get 4 ln 4 plus 2 plus b. So the value of b is equal to, taking this on this side, we get 4 minus, uh, we can write 2 first, and then minus 4 ln 4, which is 2 minus 4 ln 4, correct? So that becomes the y-intercept, and therefore we can write down the equation as y equals to the slope, which is uh, 4 ln 4 plus 2 times x, and the value of b, which is plus 2 minus 4 ln 4. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually get our equation. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Here is question number four from this test. You can actually uh, pause the video, copy this particular question, and then look into my suggestions. So let us see how to solve this kind of a question. The question here is determine the points where the tangent to the curve f of x equals two, half of e to the power of two x minus three times e to the power of x plus four x is parallel to the line y equals to 2x minus ln 5. You can always pause the video and answer my question and then check with my solution. We are looking forward for a slope which will be same as slope of the given line since we are interested in parallel lines. So let's find the slope here. So the line is y equals to 2x minus ln 5 so that means slope m is 2, right? So we want slope of 2. We are given another function, which is f of x equals to half e to the power of 2x minus 3 e to the power of x plus 4x. Derivative of this particular function, we need to figure out, which is going to be equal to, so when you do this 2x, it becomes half times 2 e to the power of 2x minus, this is 3 e to the power of x plus 4. Now, this derivative should have the same slope. That means 2, this all should be equal to 2. So, we'll equate that. So, we have 2 equals 2, that cancels. So, we have e to the power of 2x minus 3 e to the power of x plus 4, right? Now, we can bring all these terms to one side. So, we get 0 equals to e to the power of 2x minus 3 
e to the power of x and we get uh, 4 minus 2 as plus 2. Correct. So I combine the last two. So we have a quadratic equation to work with. Right. So uh, product of uh, 2 sum of minus 3. So that means we could write this as uh, minus 2 and minus 1. Right. So we could uh, write this as uh, 0 equals to e to the power of x minus 1 times minus 2 e to the power of x minus 2 correct so that will give you product of plus 2 and sum of minus 3 to solve this equation we get two equations one is e to the power of x minus 1 equals to 0 the other one is e to the power of x minus 2 equals to 0 right so the solution will be e to the power of x equals to 1 and that gives you x as equals to 0 now here e to the power of x is equals to 2 now to get this solution we'll take ln on both the sides right so we can say ln e to the power of x is ln 2 right or we can say x is equals to ln 2 clear so we have these two values of x now we need to find the points therefore we'll move further and find the y value for the given x values correct okay so the expression here is f of x equals to all this so in this expression if i substitute 0 what do i get so f of 0 equals to substituting 0 here we get half e to the power of 0 correct minus 3 e to the power of 0 plus 4 times 0 correct that so we get half minus 3 or uh, which is equal to minus 5 over 2 right so that is 6 minus 5 over 2 so the other point here will be at f of ln 2 so we get half e to the power of 2 ln 2 right so so we let's write 2 ln 2 minus 3 e to the power of ln 2 plus 4 ln 2 right so that gives you so e to the power ln 2 is just 4 right so we could write this as half 2 square which is 4 minus that is 2 so we get 3 times 2 plus 4 ln 2 or you can write this as ln 8 also right but let's keep it as 4 ln 2 so combine these terms so that is 2 and that is 6 so what we get here is minus 4 plus 4 ln 2 correct so that gives you two points and let's write down the answer now here so we have our answer the points are when x is equal to 0 in that case the y value is minus 5 by 2 and when x value is ln 2 then the y value is minus 4 plus 4 ln 2 is that clear to you? so that is how we are going to solve this question i hope the steps are absolutely clear